What's up guys, Halabass here. I'm gonna give you two basic facts about Alabama rigs. One, they catch a ton of fish. Two, they're a huge pain in the to manage the boat and the rod locker. It's time to learn how to tame your rigs. On a recent trip to Wilson Lake back in this November, uh, where this guy really gave me a free rig, he handed me in the boat, he kind of saved my day, allowed me to catch a bunch of fish. What it made me realize really quick is they're great at catching fish, but I was fighting with that rig all day in the boat. It was tangling with everything. When you got one of these on your rod and you're fighting with it all day, these hooks are tangling in your other rods, they're in your carpet, they're tangled rods in your rod locker. It's just a mess. You can imagine with all of these hooks and all of this stuff going on, there's a better way for sure. Really got me thinking about this old video that I did back in 2012 where I had this hack for taming the Alabama rigs who work super good. And you know what? I went back and watched it. The audio is terrible. The video is called, it needed to be rebooted. So here's the Bass Hack 2021 version of how to tame your Alabama rig. This little O-ring right here will change the way you fish umbrella rigs from here on out. We'll show you why this simple hack is way better than any of those aftermarket add-ons, wraps, twist ties, any of that stuff that people use to manage their A-rigs out on the boat. All this information, including the rings, any tools you may need, some other Alabama rigs, all be in the description below in case you need to know how to find them and need to know what you're looking for. If you're new to Alabama rigs, I'll also put a link down in the description below to a few of the popular rigs, like the Flash Mob Junior and the Hog Farmer, if you want to get started fishing A-rigs in your area. Now let's get into how this O-ring and this split ring pliers is going to change the way you fish A-rigs and make your life so, so much easier. Most A-rigs come in a nice tube or a thermal form or a clamshell package. They look really neat. The problem is these take up a ton of room in your boat. They don't fit in your tackle boxes and you can't use them when you're fishing. Once you pop them out, they're all over the place. Wires, you add your hooks on there and you got a mess. So take this O-ring and what you want to do is get this split ring around all these wires. So what I do is I typically slide it on this first one in the center and then taking my pliers I open this up and feed the wires through there and once you get one started and you can typically just keep feeding them through there just like that and then you spin them spin that rig spin that ring you can use the pliers if you need to help it a little bit. All right, now the rings are around all the wires just like that. Doesn't affect it while you're fishing. Then all you do when you're stowing it, put it in your tackle box. When you're going down the lake, you just push the ring down. Back up when you're fishing, the wires come apart, you're good to go. Doesn't really matter if it's the one with the, the, the blades or not. But I'll show you how it looks on a fully rigged one with all the swim baits and all the hooks. So you got that ring up there. When you're fishing it, it's out of the way. It's, you don't have to worry about losing it. It's not in your pocket. It's not in your tackle box. When you go to put it on the rod locker, move spot to spot, you just slide it down. That's a nice tidy rig that you can just slip on your rod. That will lay nice and tidy on your deck and you're good to go. Unlike a lot of other lure wraps, twist ties, big O-rings, things like that, you can't leave them on your A-rig when you're fishing. You're going to put them in your pocket. They're going to fall out. You're going to set them on the deck boat. They're going to blow out when you're going to the next spot. Big gust of wind. Just this is so easy, it's so cheap, and it works so well. If you have a solution that works better, is more simple, more effective, or as convenient as this one, leave me down in the comments below. I really want to hear about it. If you like this tip, consider subscribing for more fishing videos and bait hacks like these. And if you want to continue to learn to catch more big bass and suck less, watch this next video right here.